Greg and I are going to show you an adaptation each from the last group. So the last group, you've got the Mickey Suit, Gary, the Gap Suit, Keith, things that don't make you Okay? So, can we go first? Or? Yeah, we can do it. Um, so this is one that I took by Ian, I'm going to be a while ago. Um, in, what's the best way of wanting to see? Probably this way. Yeah. Um, so if I have just a, a hole in the collar, sleeve, anything this way. Yeah, just a got grip on it. From there, I'm just going to kick the back leg. But I'm going to kick it upwards. Because in the counter, way up, oh, sorry. In the counter, you come up this way. And I've seen it done before, where you go, I'm grabbing the hole, and I'm kicking in the chest. That is. Which is not, they're not great. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to kick the leg, pull with this one, as I kick up, to kind of drop it. I won't do it hard, but if I do it sort of half, half kick, there, I get that. Yeah, so he drops. From there, I'm going to throw a punch here. If his head's low, like this, again, adapt. I'm not going to punch him on the top of the head because I'll break my hand. So I'll do something else. Yeah? Essentially, it's just drop him and hit him. And this last funny bit here, the only thing you can really do from there in his half unconscious dazed state is try and just tackle this front leg. Because that's the closest thing to him here is to grab that. Yeah, that's, a, that's the, the easiest thing for him to do, to try and stay in it. So what we're going to do is one, bang, as he rushes, we're going to pull this front leg back and keep kicking down this way. Okay, just pushing down and away. It's not the most effective way to stop a single leg takedown, but we'll give it a go. Here, he rushes for that, I just pull the leg back and I push my weight on top of him. Okay? Don't do it like this, exactly like the counter, because it'll still take you. Yeah? There. Throw the punch. As he rushes in, I pull this back and I keep my weight on him and push it down. Okay, that's the main thing. Weight on top. Make yourself heavy for him to hold. Does that make sense? Yeah? Go one more time. Whatever you are, you're in this quick game, you're just fighting the way. Throw this, throw the strike. He rushes in, I pull this thing back and I keep my weight on this way. Okay, if I do this, it's very easy for Joe to scoop that front leg. Yeah? Whereas if I go, bang, boom, rushes down, weight on me, on Joe, it's way harder for him to pull that leg back. Okay, because I'm keeping pressure on him this way. Make sense? That's one. So that's one. one. The other one is effectively the same thing, but close quarters. Okay? So it could be we're in a clinch, it could be this is just a bit of a messy grab. Okay? But the idea is we're going to go low and high. Okay? If we keep striking either Jodan, Chudan, or Gedan, high, middle, low, they're going to get to know your pattern pretty quickly. So from here, we're just going to, for the sake of taking his brain somewhere else, we're just going to keep low. It doesn't really matter, just as long as you take their brain that way to say, you know, ow, that hurt. <laughs> if it's a pressure point there, or knee, or shin, or even nudge the foot a bit, then strike. Hopefully at this point they're semi-conscious. I'm just going to use this opportunity to just push down a little bit. Okay? It's not very clean. I'll admit it right here, it's not going to be as formal as the kata. But I'm just going to I'm just going to react to how they react. Okay? So if he decides he's coming down, but he's coming down towards me, then I can react that way. And I could use his body weight to redirect downwards. Whereas if I feel him going down, maybe my punch was really effective, I've hit a button, he's going downwards, help him down. Maybe if he's going down, but he's sort of stumbling a bit backwards, then again, help him out. Okay? I've got what I need. I've got his neck, I've got his shoulder, I've got an arm. I've got enough there that I can determine where his body weight goes. Okay? If the kick and the punch didn't work, don't do that. Okay? I describe it as like arm wrestling. Arm wrestling is strength on strength. Okay? An arm wrestling competition is determining who of the two is, who is that much stronger than the other. When it comes to self-defense, you can't do that. You just can't. Because then it becomes too 
macho and alpha. Okay? As soon as you feel resistance from the other person, be war. Be like water. Flow around it. Okay? So if this, bang, and this doesn't relax them, this next bit isn't going to work. Okay? So I've got to hit a button, hit a button here, remember there's loads of pressure points in the head, find one of them, and put it either towards, down, or away. Okay? So I'm asking the partner in this case to be, to be slightly less compliant. Okay? For the sake of practice. Okay? So you've got two layer practice. Okay? Have a go.